I had a pug. We had a pug for 11 years. I was on Instagram, you know, following all these dogs, and then I found this griff. I'm like, this is the funniest breed I've ever seen. I just harassed that lady, and I'm like, where'd you get this from? Where'd you get this from? She gave me the breeder's name. She told me, yeah, but actually, there's a nine-month-old that we wanted to keep for breeding, but she's too tiny. We can give her to you. So I'm like, yeah, just, that's it. Like, I don't need to know more. I had someone fly her from Florida to New York like a week later. So she was already nine months. She is very cuddly. She is very needy. She's here all the time. Like with the pug, we had a rule where she had to sleep in the living room because of her snoring. Uh, that rule changed immediately after Chelsea got home. Two days later, both of them were in bed. You know, she doesn't really get in trouble. But... Brooklyn is obsessed with Chelsea. I don't think Chelsea's that obsessed with Brooklyn. They're always together, they play a lot. I mean, she's the boss, she's our, she's everyone's boss. This is her house, we live in her house. That's just how it works. Oh, I mean, looking back now, there was something wrong even before I got her. Cause I saw videos, but I didn't know what it was. There was one episode where she just started having seizures. You know, it looked like, what looked like seizures, like she didn't have any balance. And two weeks later, it happened again. And it was during the day this time, so I took her to my regular vet, and she's like, no, you got to take her to the neuro immediately. I, I went to the neurologist, and they basically kept her there immediately. Like, she was really, really bad. Um, yeah, so they did an MRI that same day, and that's when they told me. worst thing ever it was the worst thing ever because you know I know nothing about this there's no cure for it um she she was bad she was not she you know it was horrible it's like it's like something it's, she's my baby she really is my baby so yeah it feels like it's the end of the world that's for sure so, and if you don't have the right treatment or the right doctor it, unfortunately it can be the end of the world She is as good as she can be. Dr. De Pompa is the best in the whole world because I love this dog so much. Like he is my family. That's how much I'm, I'm so grateful for him. Overall experience is amazing. Like the nurses loved her. You know, they called me to see Brooklyn as well. Like I show up with both of them there. Uh, no, it's amazing. I, I, I always recommend him even to people that are not in Florida. I'm the luckiest that I've had him really. I don't think we were, I don't think she would be alive if I didn't have him.